Hey everybody, uh, my name is Kara and um, I deal with synthesis of movement and body awareness. Uh, sometimes that takes the form of somatic, sometimes it takes the form of belly dancing. Um, one thing I love about belly dancing is that it is a, um, a body inquiry as much as it is a dance. We look at belly dancers and we think, oh, that's so wild and it's so beautiful and all of those things are true. Um, however, I think what makes belly dancing very beautiful to me is not only the wildness and the passion of it, but also the control that um, is exhibited by the dancers. The dancers make it look so easy when different parts of their body are moving in different directions and at different speeds. Otherwise, it's just chaos. So um, while I've posted a few video um, videos of improvisational dance, I was going to just show you a couple of drills that are fun to do that help us um, all around to separate and allow parts of our bodies to move um, in different ways. So the first thing I was going to show you guys today was um, something to do with shoulders and arms. So we don't have our arms and our shoulders just flapping without um, any sense of direction. We usually exhibit a lot of control with our arms and our shoulders. One drill that we often do is to um, put your arms, you can, you can actually start with your hands on a table in front of you or something solid in front of you, but just imagining that your hands are glued to a table or something that they can't move from. And then we're just gonna roll do shoulder rolls forward and backward. So just drilling with shoulders. So left shoulder forward, maybe right shoulder forward, left shoulder back, right shoulder back. You might notice one's easier for you. So just drilling and drilling maybe both forward at the same time and then both going back. And then maybe just the right shoulder and the left shoulder so just different ways that you can drill and all the while trying to keep your hands <clears throat> in front of you and not moving. So that's one way you can do that out in front. You can also put your hands out gently to the side and we can do that with shoulder rolls again in a different um, position going forward and backward. So left, right, and then going backward, left going backward, right going backward, and then maybe right going front, right going back, left going front, left going back. Maybe both of them going front, both of them going backwards. <laughs> and then just playing with them. And trying to keep those hands as still as possible. And noticing which arm might be easier. You can also, um, draw your shoulders in toward the spine. So left shoulder pulling in shoulder blade toward the spine and back out, right? Going up and then in and then back down and out. But just playing with shoulders and keeping those hands as steady as possible. And again, you might find one way is easier than the other. One hand might be easier. Just practicing. So that's one thing that we like to do warming up. The other thing has to do with our glute muscles. In belly dancing, we sometimes use our glute muscles to make our hips um, have a, an effect. It just creates an effect. Um, so a lot of us do not have the, the muscle memory in our glutes that um, that the dancers need. So we just practice this and build this up. So just sitting in a wide V with your legs out in front of you as wide as is comfortable and sitting, pulling the flesh off your sits bones so that your sits bones are onto the floor. And um, we're not using our thighs. We're really just trying to use our glutes. So if it's helpful to you, and I often find that it is, especially at first for me, Put your hands back here, just right along the upper pelvis where you can kind of feel the bones, the ischial bones and 
the pelvic bones, right around uh, the upper part of the glutes. And then just watch my left hand here. Just squeeze left and then let go. And then do that with the right. So I'm gonna turn around. But just putting on a song and squeezing the left glute, squeezing the right glute and letting go. Letting go is key. And just building up these quick twitch glute muscles right here. And really try not to use any of your inner thighs or your thighs. If it's helpful, you can put your hands behind you and slightly lift a little bit off the ground, keeping your posture, your back and spine a little bit straighter. So just playing with that and then maybe doing left glute clench, let go. Right glute clench, let go. Clench, let go clench, let go, and then maybe clench, clench, let go, let go. Just see how that feels. And then maybe one, two, three, one, two, three. So left, right, 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 left, right. And just putting on a song and doing this for a warm up. For your glutes and it's helpful whether or not you are a belly dancer it just helps you put yourself back in touch with parts of your body that you may not be in touch with and when I used to be a runner I kept these glute muscles tightened a lot so it actually was more challenging for me to unclench so you might find that to be a challenge with you if you run or do other things uh, where your muscles are pretty tight in this area, possibly. So anyway, those are just a couple of things that help us. Um, I'll be doing more short videos of different um, drills and ways to um, both um, get in touch with different parts of our body that we don't normally utilize or are in touch with, and maybe things are just sort of automatic and that we use often in belly dancing, like our feet and our ankles and different things. So um, stay tuned and thanks for watching. And hopefully this is a fun little exercise. These are two fun little things that you can incorporate into your belly dance drilling or practice. And um, just as a reminder, I'm going to be having a belly dance series coming up that's an inquiry more deeply into all of the movements, the hip movements, rib cage, different things that make belly dancing happen. So it's going to be a somatic belly dance series. But stay tuned, um, that will be for purchase. And in the meantime, I'm just having uh, videos to assist everybody with their drilling practice and to keep everybody um, everybody happy and healthy. So uh, thanks for tuning in and I will hope to see you again soon. Namaste.